Hello everyone, I'm ActraTrakeasy87 and this is Let's Play Danganronpa Part 52. In the previous video, we wrapped up the final investigation. It is time for our last class trial. We got some, uh, some new information. We don't really know what it means yet. The biggest piece of new information is that apparently everyone conducted interviews with the headmaster before entering Hope's Peak and... No one remembers it, or at least we don't remember it. Um, we don't necessarily know if everyone else is just faking or if they truly don't remember. I'm assuming everyone's had their memories messed with, and it's not just that everyone except Makoto is, is uh, in on the joke. Makoto. You're early, Makoto. Listen. Does that mean you feel prepared? Uh, was I not supposed to come here? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, for now, at least. But, uh, where's everyone else? Uh, why aren't they here yet? However... Don't worry, I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like that, she said... Hey, Byakuya! Byakuya? Alright. I mean, at least they're not pretending to, to care about us anymore. I mean, they have tried to murder us multiple times. But they were all in the same state of shock. Who were we missing? Oh, Toko. Hina? Hero? Alright, it's gonna be a pretty silent class trial. It's gonna be us and Kyoko. <laughs> Granted, that's really, we're the only ones who ever say anything of substance anyway. Uh, Byakuya occasionally makes a good point. And it wasn't any normal silence. It was the deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial. You called for me and so I appear! I'm late! Oh, I'm on fire! And at least we got fucking Genocide Jack slash Jill to liven things up. Ah, oh, Strong Silent Master, so wonderful, so cool, so hot, my loins are ablaze! Yes! Now listen, everyone, everything will be just fine if you leave it to me! My beautiful scissors! With my scissor-sharp scissors in hands, I'll stab and gouge and shiv the Master of Evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little voice. <laughs> if it's what Master wants, it can be boy, girl, or anything in between. I can handle it. Oh, no. I don't like that. Alright. Okay, so now here, is Toko gonna act weird towards us too? Or more weird than usual? Where am I? No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. I mean, honestly, I prefer Genocide Jill like 10 times over Toko. Don't, don't necessarily like Genocide Jill very much due to the, the whole murder thing. But she's definitely more interesting. Everyone here? Oh, and well in our gloomy Gus faces, I see. Well now. Well then, let's begin. Thrills, chills, kills! The final class trial is going to be slathered in pitch black despair, climaxium sorrow. That's fine. You're right, this is the final class trial, and this time it, it'll be fair. How strange. What do you mean, this time? Stop with all the slander. I'm a bigger in good standing, you know. Unbelievable. If there was a Mr. Fair Guy Universe contest, I'd take home the tiara every year. I'm gonna win this game super fair and square. Today, I'm feeling white. And I'll... <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'll make sure everyone watching at home knows. I mean, I get it. Like, the white side is supposed to be his more, more carefree, goofy side. But that despair is mightier than the hope. Stop talking. Enough of your tedious drivel. Begin the trial already. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's begin the trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below. You guys. So don't try and run away. Ah! <laughs> Laughing as loud as ever, Monokuma disappeared. Hm. Whatever. In the name of my family. This will be over in no time. I'm just going to accuse Makoto again and die. <laughs> With an inexplicable confidence, Byaku was the first in the elevator. One by one, the others followed. I'm really interested in what they were told that makes them so... <laughs> Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the elevator. Hey. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid, suspicious of each other. However... But you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. However... Well, you can tell us about it soon. At the class trial. You're right. I'm ready. So... Ready to win, right? Of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. I'd 
still, Kyoko, you're not you're not free of suspicion yourself. Well, let's... I don't know if we save. Yeah, we save for the prowl. I don't even know if it matters, but... I don't really know how... If this game has multiple endings or what. I mean, I joked about the true ending, la like, in the last video, but... I don't know if, there's so, if there actually is a... Because, I mean, it's not uncommon for visual novels to have, like, a true definitive ending and, like, multiple other ones. So... We'll have to... I mean, that's, that's not really something to concern ourselves with right now. I resolved that this would be the last time. I repeated that to myself and there was no fear, no mystery left. Pushed the anxiety down, calmed my trembling body, and finally on steady legs, I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. Without morning, it began to descend. Deeper and deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper still. Deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper it fell. Okay, Makoto, that word doesn't mean anything to me anymore. You've said it so many times. I closed my eyes and the and sight fell away. All sound too disappeared. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later, I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to an end. I slowly opened my eyes. Oh. This is the final trial site? <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it just the perfect background for deciding a person's fate? It's the long-awaited last stage, the always exciting final boss battle. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. Thrills, chills, kills! Well then, let's begin! Sure. I mean, I just saved, but I'll do it again. I don't think we have any new skills. Yeah, because we didn't do any free time between the last uh, thingy, so. Mastermind stands exposed and must pay for their crimes. Now all that's left is the looming mystery of Hope's Peak Academy itself. Dot, dot, dot. Alrighty. Couldn't have said it better myself. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. Okay, don't like that. So listen up! If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school... We all get to leave? You guys win! Ooh. But if you can't... Then I win! And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super hard pounding punishment! Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Probably not. Yep, sure will. Yeah, but you have like 50 bodies. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind only one person? Hmm. Hmm? That's an interesting question. I think multiple people could be in on it? Don't bother. I already know the answer. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me! Okay, well, that's a little ridiculous, but the, the initial... The, uh, our question isn't bad. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it! Unless, do you think everyone got shown the same picture with themselves out of it? Oh god, it's it's, it's our final spinny fin fun times. What all do we got? We got all Monokuma together, interview you? DVD group photo. So let's uh, let's revisit the the information here. Spark of the head. They were old. Um, group photo. Is that Mukuro is pictured while Makoto is not? All the others are working together somehow. Has no memory of an interview thanks to Monokuma's interference. Wasn't able to watch the DVD all the way through. And what are the other two? I have Places evidence. to check and headmasters something. Places to check. Okay. That's not really important. And the last thing is Handmaster's ebook. Or Headmaster's ebook. 
Okay. We'll hey, start with my line. We'll start with group photo. You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. I have evidence of my own. Okay. What a coincidence. I too have evidence to present. I evidence that proves everyone other than me. I assume everyone got together. the same photo, but they just had themselves what? taken out. Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. There's nothing to shoot. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? The three of us. The three of us. All Theo, there's no doubt this is the trap. So I'm guessing it's group you guys photo, have the all three been of us. Together, haven't you? I have evidence. So it's either group I'm photo right. or DVD. Hey, you're all out to get me. I have evidence. What a coincidence. Evidence that proves every. What? This doesn't make any okay, sense. Okay, it's spinning. It's spinning. Oh, okay, that's it. No, that's wrong. You're all stupid. That's not really like a contradiction. There's like a. But I mean, it's I. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well, yeah. Okay, so everyone did have themselves taken out, I'm guessing. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. Hmm. With the picture you have, I'm in it. But that can't be right, because in my picture... Ooh, where's Makoto? Oh, it's oh, there is Makoto. I'm the only one not in it. <laughs> Fucking Sakura. Okay, you got Kyoko, you got Ma, you got Mukuro, you got Toko chilling back there. You got Jihiro and Junko. <laughs> dude, is Makoto getting beat by fucking Hafumi? Jesus, dude. Or at the very least, I mean, Hafumi seems like he's holding his own. Makoto's about to fucking die. I figured as much. In which case, Hiro, you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. So they were definitely students for some time then. Uh, okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. Okay, you got. Oh god, Toko's freaking wigging out back there. So does that mean that they they knew she was a she was like turned into her serial killer self during normal classes? What all, what all do we got going on here? We got, uh, Hiro, Coco, you got Celeste and Junko talking, you got, uh, Paco. Oh, that's the picture we, no, that's not the same picture we saw, but it's similar to the picture we saw. Where you got Sakura and putting her hand on Hifumi's head. Hmm. Mukuro wants nothing to do with anyone. Makes sense, I can understand. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. Um. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. So the whole purpose behind these I want to see Yakio's picture. Get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? The proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap. Each photo has a certain something in common. There's a connection regarding what person isn't shown. I mean, the ones who got the photo. I got it. In I each felt like case, that, felt like that was the obvious. Only one not in the picture is the person who received it. So, in the picture I got. I'm the only one missing. But yeah, Sakura and Hafumi are, and Taka are kind of in the same pose there. Well, Taka's eyes are open in this one. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. And in the picture Hiro got, oh, no, she's no, the actually only in one this missing. one, Sakura is using Hafumi's little head spike as a handle. <laughs> As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. Please. What, what do we got? Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? In other words, Sakura Monokuma gave each what? of us a good photo. Why didn't it stay? I wanted to see that, that longer. Wasn't included. It just auto scrolled past that. The only thing I saw was Sakura fucking shoryukening a fish like she's Goku. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy. <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. 
But how was that a hint? Well, it proves that we were here for some period of time. I mean, we can assume the pictures aren't completely fake. That just specific people are taken out. But you know, there might be more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers you about everyone's pictures. What is it? What's digging Listen, at me? Can I see everyone's group photo one more time? Yeah, Byaki, you didn't let us actually get to investigate it? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. There's something unusual about these group photos. What is that? I need to compare each one of them one more time. Okay, so we got... We got Leon splashing Junko. We got Hiro's... <laughs> Where is... Mik oh, there's Makoto. I was like, where's Makoto? Oh, is it? Wait, is everyone in there? Yeah, Mukuro's in there. Are we missing someone in this? I feel like someone's missing. Where's Taka? There's no Taka, right? No, no, no. Taka's in there. Where's Mondo? There's no Mondo. No, Mondo's in there. Wait, I mean, let's just count. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I only see 15. Am I, am I stupid? Who are we missing? Yoko's in there? Where's Chihiro? Is Chihiro in there? Oh, yeah, Chihiro wouldn't be. Well, no, Chihiro's in there. <clears throat> oh, wait, did I not count Chihiro? Maybe I didn't count Chihiro. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Who am I forgetting? What? Can I just not count? I feel like I'm having a stroke. There's definitely not 16 people here. Who are we missing? Sai no, Sayak is there. Oh god, I gotta like... Who are all the characters? Leon's there, Hifumi's there, Hiro's there, Sokka's there, Kyoko's there. Is Hina? Hina's in there. I feel like I'm having a stroke. Hina is Toko. Toko is Toko's in there. Um, am I losing my mind? Sakura, Toko. Seriously, I'm losing my mind. I can't count. Eight. Someone's missing, but I can't think of who is missing. <laughs> Makoto's there, Taka's there, Byakuya's, Byakuya there? Byakuya's not there. Oh yeah, because he's obviously, it's his picture, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay, that's, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I, I don't even want to talk. <laughs> There's something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. Something... Group photo has been updated. I don't... I didn't really notice anything. What does it say now? Wait, where is the group photo? Oh, here it is. There's something else that's very strange. Um, I don't know. Can you just forget about the photo already? I mean, besides the obvious bit that I don't that Ugh. trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo. I'm still pissed about that. I mean, I guess the obvious thing would be that, you know, they were in the school prior to this all starting, but we kind of already know that. And on top of that. They went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. I mean, the picture's not fake. I think it's just the person... It's just edited to remove a specific person. I assume the pictures are legitimate. Hmm? So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. W what are you talking about? There's no way! Yeah! I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's gotta be a fake! I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? 
Yeah? What do you mean? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. An unbelievable but entirely horrifying reason. So, how did they make them just forget? Like, not lose all their memory. So, I assume it's probably mem- No? Emmy? I thought it was going to be memory. For... N uh, there's a lot of A's. A O amnesia, I bet. That's what this is supposed to be. Yeah, am. I I know how to spell amnesia. Now, do I know how to spell amnesia? Amnesia. Looking for an looking for an I. Can I get an I? Can I get an A? Can I get an A? Boy, howdy, I would like an A. Now I understand. Let's say that somehow, we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. As if. You expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult type story? I mean, I, I get it. It's it's kind of a stupid trope, but it's it's happens. Yeah, we all lost our memories. That's just crazy. It's only natural they wouldn't believe it. But no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. Can't move forward until they accept it. And then Makoto just starts punching the truth into them. Group photo, control room, interview... Oh my Jesus God. There are a lot of things there, buddy boy. Control room, group photo, interview DVD. What, what What else is there? Interview DVD? Hidden room present, Since photo of Kyoko. Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? Photo of Kyoko? No, it's probably going to be interview CD or DVD, but we'll see. Ever since I got to this school... I remember everything that's happened. Remember everything. So the idea that we all lost our memories is totally stupid. So I'm going to go interview DVD. We'll give that a shot. You're saying we all got spun. Since when did this turn? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. Okay, you have been blasted. Get out of here with your false logic, Hina. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. This DVD does the same thing. Well, and you're just going to have to believe us when we say what's on it, because uh, we can't actually show it to you anymore, so... You're not going to show us something indecent, are you? Well, there was a couch. No. And it was an interview. Like It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean... I mean all of us, including you. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. Well, about that. The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. What are you saying? Yeah, just take our word for it, though. I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? I mean, it's not the craziest thing that's happened. Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. I mean, also, you haven't seen the video, so you also have no reason to believe us. How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here! To be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. What is it? Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? Um, how willing you were to work in the business? The headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. To take off our pants? He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. Er, incorrect. Actually, 
We all said we could. Even me. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? Well, at the time, I was under the assumption we'd have internet, and I thought it'd be a lot easier, and... I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever, or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? Well, maybe you didn't want to do it, but you felt like you had to do it. That's just insane. How can I believe that? I mean, based on what Makoto said, right? He said something about it's not like we have a choice, but he didn't also seem like forced into it. So it felt like it's more of like a strong obligation. Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are. Because it's all true. What? <laughs> I know it sounds absurd, but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. We only have one path in front of us. Then we really... Yep. You all totally lost your memory at the same time. Well, lost, I assume there was some, uh, some, what you call it, meddling on your part in it. I doubt we all just... Si like simultaneously developed very specific amnesia just on chance this is all making my head hurt and this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss you stole those specific memories from us didn't you oopsie you figured that part out too huh of course there's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time <laughs> but how could someone just Steal our memories. I guess the question is though, like this, how does this jive with the opening scene, right? Where when Makoto's, like, had he had his memories wiped before that? I guess because I was, uh, you know, I was kind of on the assumption that their memories are messed with after they got knocked unconscious at the start of the game, but that would mean that his memories are messed with prior to even entering Hope's Peak because he doesn't. Because he would remember being in Hope's Peak, right? If he, his, his memories weren't erased until, he, you know, the point when he gets knocked out by whatever it is. How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all, a reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. Getting you to take your pants off. You mean the motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Never heard of her. Okay. So you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else. So until we do that, well, either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery. So, one who killed Mukuro, the true mastermind. That's what we need to expose. Spinny spin fun time. Let's go. Handbook, control room, profile, present, photo of Kyoko, and headmaster so let's look at the control room does the control room mention that apparently someone was in there small room used to command on akuma she did not have a single scar or wound when she came to host peak academy okay that's interesting uh monokuma control room handmaster's ebook now that no restrictions 
And what are the Whoever other things? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. Behind everything. That much I'm sure of. But when you Getting think about present, it. Photo of Kyoko and Headmaster. Those don't seem that important right now. When there's hidden... I mean, I guess you could connect that to the Headmaster being dead. Which I guess no one else knows about except for really Kyoko. Here in the school? Well, let's of go course. with... Uh, Hidden room present be for here now. Because if someone mentions the headmaster, we can so blast sure. him with this. Um, what does make me so sure? Exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the mastermind is here. The mastermind is probably a million oh. miles away. Okay, so we want to use control room on that. His masterminds always lurk off in the background, right? Yes, yeah, so we we'll use control room on that last one. So who did it? Whoever did it is the stat much. But when you is the mastermind? Of course, they have to be. What makes you? Um, exactly. Okay, You're well, I don't remember where it showed up. up. It was like towards the There's bottom, no I think. The mastermind. The mastermind is probably a million. Ew! You no, have been destroyed. No. Get out of here, Toko. There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? In the back of the data center, I found a panel that controls Monokuma. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. There can't be any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. But I don't think it's one of us that's still in this room. I don't know, because, I mean, I'm just confused by the bodies, right? Because there should have been ten corpses in there, unless I'm being stupid. Because, I mean, ten people have died, including Mukuro. Correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So with Mukuro, that would be ten. And so if that last one is Mukuro's body, then... There should have been 10 lights. That means one of the dead people is not in the morgue. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean they're still alive. But, like, I don't know who who of these people could still be alive. I'm trying to think, like, I mean, what were the punishment? I mean, I mean, of the people who are dead, who do I even think could be the mastermind? Really, none of them? Like... Celeste is the only one that kind of jumps to mind. I mean, I'm trying to think. I mean, Chihiro, we're pretty sure was killed. Um, I'm just trying to think of, like the way they died. Sakura, I mean, she was poisoned. It, she could have. You know, it could have been some special super poison that doesn't actually kill you, just makes it seem like you're dead, but. I don't really know if I buy Sakura being the mastermind. There is Junko who died in a like a, a, a less like she died and then her body was quickly moved. But I mean, she did get impaled many times, so I don't know about her. Sayaka, I mean, her body stayed there for a while. I don't know. I mean, really, the only person is, like, maybe Sakura or Junko are the only ones that I could think could maybe still be alive based on what we saw. I mean, the only reason I say Junko is because she's the only person who died without, like, in a non-normal way, so to speak. Like, she wasn't punished and she wasn't executed. In which case, there can be a no doubt the Master is one of us. Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me! I'm not the mastermind! Well, it's not me! I blame Makoto! Mm, we're used to that. What? Why me? 
Guys, do you not remember last time you tried to execute us? I mean, technically you didn't get punished, even though you should have, but you were wrong then. Guys! It's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed! Decent, decent point, actually. Oh, I get it. The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind himself, right? Yeah, I mean, that's not an awful point. You're still fucking dumbasses and I hate you. Aw, nuts! You got me! Wait, what are you trying to say? Oh no, Monokuma, please. Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. The mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. Incorrect. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? Huh? What? What? Listening. Mukuro's actual cause of uh, the other wounds. I got it! All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. This is an okay-ish stopping point. Um, so we'll go ahead and stop here. In the next video, we will continue the final class trial. And uh, maybe get just ever so closer to that elusive truth. I'm Extra Cheesy 87 Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.